principle that we also apply in the new 911 GT3R hybrid. A front axle hybrid with flywheel energy accumulator for more performance on the racetrack. It follows the tradition of more than 28,000 racing victories and still goes its own way. The impetus behind this was dissatisfaction. The frustration of too much braking energy going to waste on the racetrack. The power discarded. However, to make use of it, we first had to put in a lot of energy. Or more precisely, a lot of brains. Because without the intelligence of our engineers, there is no performance. The question remains, can we take this energy with us? We can. With clever execution of the hybrid principle. With extra front wheel drive. With electric motors. With electric flywheel energy accumulator and the bold plan of putting it to the test in an endurance race. It's only one day, but that's 24 hours to change the sports car world. All this in a 911. That may sound dubious to a few purists, but we can put their minds at ease. The motor is at the back. Well, one of them at least. Drive technology. The combustion engine on the rear axle is supported by two electric motors located on the front axle. When the driver brakes, they work as generators. Their energy is used by a third electric motor, which operates as flywheel energy accumulator at speeds of up to 40,000 RPM. So the energy is stored kinetically and can be retrieved by the reverse principle and fed into the electric motors which drive the front axle. Result, every braking maneuver generates additional energy with advantages, especially when accelerating out of corners or on passing maneuvers. We call it boosting. And it boosts our driver's mood, too. The effect, if you brake, you gain. Energy. The two electric motors on the 911 GT3 R Hybrid generate 60 kilowatts, 81 horsepower each. The water-cooled 4.0 liter six-cylinder boxer engine delivers 353 kilowatts, 480 horsepower at 7,250 RPM. The result is huge potential on the racetrack. The principle is clear. Then comes the reality. We test, prepare for the race, clock up the kilometers, make progress and have setbacks, which turn into progress. Vital factor, the hybrid drive can also be used in a fuel-saving way to stay on the track longer, depending on race strategy. And this in a race that lasts for 24 hours and where seconds can turn into minutes. To be quite honest, we've rarely been under greater pressure. But we've come a long way. And no, we don't have to win right off the bat. We just want to get moving forwards.